Danny Mas, I work in Ocibar. Ocibar manages Portage, you know? The marina that is in Calvià, 20 minutes away from Palma. And we are a complete marina where we have the offer of moorings, obviously, and then we have the offer of restaurants and shops. Lantimar was created in 1992, and his founder was um, Tony Riera. We are taking care of the cruises, uh, for agency for cruises, military vessels, uh, jet services, uh, fuel, and of course, logistics and customs. My name is Rupert Savage. Uh, I'm the Group Commercial Director of GYG PLC, which is an AIM-listed London Stock Exchange uh, company we floated two years ago. Our primary activities are yacht coating, so painting with the primary brand of Pinmar, um, we operate in, in both markets, refit and new build. Uh, Pin My Yacht Supply is our supply division, selling to the end users, the yacht captains and yacht crews, and also to the trade. And Technocraft is our scaffolding and containment brand. What we recognize lately with less movement in, in the marinas is that uh, we experience seeing tunas and dolphins in the marinas. Looks like the nature wants to get closer to us. Yeah, I think that COVID-19 has uh, had a um, huge impact in the, um, in the environment in the Balearic Island. I think as far as the environmental effect, it's most certainly been positive. I think we're all noticing uh, all the changes. You know, it's, it's, it's given the whole planet a bit of a, a breathing space. You can, never could have imagined doing this uh, in any other way than, than you know, unfortunately through, through this virus, but there's definitely positives that come out of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was down near the beach the other day, and I mean, the waters, I've never seen them so clear. The bird sounds that you hear, I mean, it, it, it's incredible. You know, our generation has been going through different challenges since the crisis, economical crisis we had in 2008. Right now we have a health crisis, and we will see what it will lead into it. I think the Balearics have one of the best figures within the countries in the Mets and the zones in the Mets. Um, we know that the Balearics have a lot to offer for cruising. Port Adriano is in this um, scenario, we're prepared. And we understand that uh, once we can, we are able to have the clients flying in, uh, we're ready to give the best offer. We are mainly focusing on um, next winter and on TPAs and inward processing refits. Uh, we are pushing so much Balearics as the perfect destination for our clients' next refit. If um, trips in October, September and August will be cancelled, then yachts might start work some more earlier on in the season and we can lose the opportunity to convince them to um, keep the reservation here and they stay in Balearics and take advantage of islands facilities to carry on their reparation. Now we implement with uh, different security. We put sanitizer points everywhere and we also have a mask for everybody. Now the captains and crews, they don't know if they will go back to the Caribbean for next winter. This is a very uncertain thing and we have to be prepared to, for taking them the summer season and maybe the winter season. So maybe we will have a lot of yachts that they will do refits and they will have a lot of work done in their yachts during the next winter. So we have to be prepared all the shipyards and all the maintenance people in order to give them the best service. A challenging time for all of us, but uh, I can only credit our teams behind the scenes. We've actioned all of our uh, um, contingency plans and uh, health and safety measures obviously being amplified. So we're actually continuing to operate in, in all locations, albeit under some, some new rules and some, some new restrictions. I was really impressed and how we manage uh, the situation and we have conduct our business um, and stay in touch from remote locations. I think that video calls going to will be an essential tool in the future and uh, the, um, the, the need to travel will decrease for sure. There's a um, sentence of Mandela I really like. It always seems impossible until when it's done. And during the COVID, what we did is 
is we manage to keep our our business alive and running with no problems. I think that the role of the agent, of the yacht agent, has partially changed from like we can consider a supplier of ad hoc and high-end services we turn to be a point of reference in the nautical sector, uh, especially in the chaos and uncertainty caused by the pandemic. As far as uh, the Balearics are concerned as a yachting destination, uh, regardless of what's happening today, it will remain strong. Uh, it's an incredible uh, hub of yachting. Uh, my background is as a yacht captain. I've been coming here for 20 odd years now. and. Uh, you know, there is an amazing uh, amount of professionalised businesses that have adapted over the years. So I think, uh, yes, this is going to put everybody into some challenging situations, but I think everyone will come out the other side stronger. In different of other destinations in the Mediterranean, we have a very complete um, service. We have service for the clients, we have service for the crews. With other destinations, they only have um, offers for one or the other. So being a 360 offer, this is a very positive moment for us. I trust that Balearics will stay the same for a long time. Together with the hospitality sector, the um, nautical industry is one of the leading uh, drivers of Balearic economy. From a recent survey that stated that the 80% of the owners of the yachts are ready to go sailing uh, this summer. So let's be positive and finger crossed.